Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to reset your Amazon Fire TV Cube remote. And this is very easy to do. So I want to press the back button, the menu button right here, and then the left button at the same time. So let's press all three of these buttons down. And after about five to 10 seconds, our remote should go ahead and reset. And you'll notice on the screen that it's going to go ahead and just scroll. So let's continue to hold this down and then it's going to go ahead and scroll on the TV back to the home screen. So I know my remote is now reset. Now what I'm going to do is turn around and I'm going to remove the batteries. So let's remove the batteries from the remote and then I'm going to place these to the side. Now go over to your Fire TV Cube and turn it around and simply unplug it from the wall outlet and leave it unplugged. Now go back over to your remote and then place in your batteries. So Got one battery right here, and then the next battery. Now I'm gonna put the cover back on. Then go to your Fire TV Cube after about 60 seconds and plug this back in. Now press the little circle button on the top of it if it's not turning on, and this will turn it back on. Okay, so if your remote is not working from here, what you could do is hold down the home button now to resync it. So I'm gonna hold this down for about 10 to 15 seconds, and it should blink like an orange. Now this is an indication it's in the pairing mode, and it's trying to find a device to connect to. So we can just repeat this process and see if it connects back up to our Fire TV Cube. Now when you reset your remote and you try to use the Alexa button, it'll say you still need to pair your remote. So what we want to do is go on over to settings and then go on down and go to controllers and Bluetooth devices right here and select this. Then go on down to where it says Amazon Fire TV remote right here. Then we can go to add new remote and select this and hold down the home button on the remote now and repeat the same process. So after about 10 to 15 seconds, it should start blinking orange and it should show up under this section and we should be able to just simply pair it. So I can see the Fire TV remote right here and it should now be paired. If I press the Alexa button, it looks like it's working now. now. So my remote is fully paired and I reset it. And hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on Your Six Tech.